गोविंदो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ योग माया मास्टर इट सिग्निफाइज द योग और यूनियन ऑफ पुरुष एंड प्रकृति फुटनोट्स पुरुष द मेल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ रियालिटी द सोल और एप्सल्यूट प्रकृति द फीमेल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ रियालिटी प्राइमोडियल नेचर और पावर फुटनोट्स एंड वॉट एवर यू परसीव इन द यूनिवर्स is the outcome of this union take the image of shiva and kali kali stands on the bosom of shiva shiva lies under her feet like a corpse kali looks at shiva all this denotes the union of purusha and prakriti purusha is inactive therefore shiva lies on the ground like a corpse prakriti performs all her activities in conjunction with purusha thus she creates preserves and destroys that is also the meaning of the conjoined images of radha and krishna on account of that union again the images are slightly inclined toward each other to denote this union shri krishna wears a pearl in his nose radha a blue stone in hers radha has a fair complexion bright as a pearl shri krishna's is blue for this reason radha wears the blue stone further krishna's apparel is yellow and radha's blue who is the best devotee of god it is he who sees after the realization of brahman that god alone has become all living beings the universe and the 24 cosmic principles one must discriminate at first saying not this not this and reach the roof after that one realizes that the steps are made of the same materials as the roof namely brick lime and brick dust the devotee realizes that it is brahman alone that has become all these the living beings the universe and so on mere dry reasoning i spit on it i have no use for it the master spits on the ground why should i make myself dry through mere reasoning may i have unalloyed love for the lotus feet of god as long as the consciousness of i and you remains with me to govindo sometimes i say thou art verily i and i am verily thou again i feel thou art thou then i do not find any trace of i it is shakti alone that becomes flesh as god incarnate according to one school of thought rama and krishna are but two waves in the ocean of absolute bliss and consciousness 
Chaitanya, consciousness, is awakened after Advaita Jnana, the knowledge of the non-dual Brahman. Then one perceives that God alone exists in all beings as consciousness. After this realization comes Ananda, bliss. Advaita, Chaitanya and Nityananda. Footnote Non-duality, consciousness and eternal bliss. Footnote ends To M Let me ask you not to disbelieve in the forms of God. Have faith in God's forms. Meditate on that form of God which appeals to your mind. To Gobindo The fact is that one does not feel the longing to know or see God as long as one wants to enjoy worldly objects. The child forgets everything when he plays with his toys. Try to cajole him away from play with a sweet meat. You will not succeed. He will eat only a bit of it. When he relishes neither the sweet meat nor his play, then he says, I want to go to my mother. He doesn't care for the sweet meat anymore. If a man, whom he doesn't know and has never seen, says to the child, Come along, I shall take you to your mother. The child follows him. The child will go with anyone who will carry him to his mother. The soul becomes restless for God when one is through with the enjoyment of worldly things. Then a person has only one thought. How to realize God? He listens to whatever anyone says to him about God. M. To himself. Alas, the soul becomes restless for God only when one is through with the enjoyment of worldly things. <laughs>